It's been a very busy summer transfer window so far for Rangers, which has seen the club sign seven players. However, more are expected to join imminently. However, whilst the club do want to bring more players in, Rangers are also said to be offloading more stars, with an expert updating us on the situation of one that is expected to follow Antonio Sholak out of the door. In today's video, we'll of course go over this, whilst also going over all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Graham Sunez has turned down a job offer at Rangers. The Ibrox hero knocked back an offer to work as a club ambassador. Sunez left Sky Sports after a decade with the broadcaster at the end of the season. The former Rangers boss then swam the English Channel to raise funds for Deborah, a charity helping those battling with EB. In between times, Sunez did meet Rangers chief executive James Bisgrove, sparking rumours of a return to Ibrox in an ambassadorial capacity. But Sunez decided against a return to Rangers at this current time. However, it is understood the relationship between Rangers and Sunez is still strong, with timing the main factor in his decision. A Rangers spokesman said Graham has decided for his own reasons not to accept an invite from the club. However, the club totally respects him, his decisions, and he remains a legend who is always welcome at Ibrox. Just a quick one, guys, to let you know that we have released our brand new July drop. We've got brand new designs available on our website. We've got the Rangers Warrior t-shirts, along with the No One Likes Us We Don't Care tees. So do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Rangers have confirmed the departure of Antonio Sholak to Parma for an undisclosed fee subject to international clearance. The Croatian international striker hit 18 goals and 39 appearances for Rangers in his one season, at the club having joined from Powell last summer. His strikes included three in the Champions League qualifying, with one of those being the crucial winner away to Hindhoven to send Rangers into the group stages for the first time in 12 years. He tied with Rangers captain James Tavernier for the club's top goalscorer last season, after netting in what was his final appearance for the club against St Mirren in May. Upon leaving, he did write a message to the Rangers fans. He said, Dear Rangers family, I want to thank everyone at Rangers Football Club for the amazing support you gave me in my time at Rangers. Getting the club back to the Champions League where the club belongs and becoming the best goal scorer of the club in my first year made me really proud. I want to wish Rangers nothing but the best for the upcoming future and you will always have a big supporter with me. Once a jur, always a jur. Glenn Kamara will leave Rangers this summer. Speaking exclusively to Football Insider, former Rangers defender Alan Hutton said Kamara's absence from the pre-season trip likely means that he'll be on his way out. The Light Blues are currently in Germany for a training camp, but the 27-year-old has not travelled with the rest of the squad. There has been no mention of an injury unlike Dujon Sterling, who remained in Glasgow to recover from a calf strain, and Kamara cannot be seen in the training pictures posted by Rangers. The Finland international has been linked with a move away from Ibrox while he still has two years left on his contract. When asked if Kamara's absence from pre-season could suggest he is leaving, Hutton told Football Insider, Normally that is what you find. I have been in enough camps over the years to realise how the dynamics work. If you are away with the first team, then you are in the plans. If you are not, you are fully fit, then you would like to think there is something in the pipeline and there has been conversations. It's better for the squad and manager to work with players going forward to have for the rest of the season. Kamara joined Rangers from Dundee in 2019 for a fee of around £500,000. The midfielder has made 193 appearances since then, netting 9 goals and offering up 11 assists in those outings. Kenny Miller has told Rangers the windfall that comes with the Champions League is an imperative. The former Rangers striker reckons this season's title race will also go down to the wire, insisting there is not much between Rangers and Celtic. Michael Bill does face two qualifying hurdles as he attempts to secure a passport to the lucrative group stages of the Champions League and a member for last season's stay in the group stages. But while qualification would inject around £30 million into Rangers, Miller insists it wouldn't make a difference to Bill's transfer kitty. He also claimed that Rangers have closed the gap on Glasgow rivals and expect a serious two-horse race in the battle for the championship next season. He told the Sunday Mail, the club will be desperate to join Celtic in the Champions League, but I'm not buying the claims from those who say it's financially imperative that Rangers qualify. 
Look at the two big sides right now, and if you go through the squads man for man, there's not much that difference between the two teams. Yes, Celtic won the treble last season, but it was decided by fine margins, and with the improvements with Bill is making this summer, I expect it to be another tight race. And so what if Celtic were to bank Champions League Bonzano while Rangers are left to pick up the Europa League crumbs? They are still not going to go out and spend 15 million or 20 million pounds on a player, and even if you did, what does that get you? When I was starting out, those stums would secure a world-class talent, head and shoulders above anyone playing in Scotland. These days, you'd be able to do well to pick up a second-string Premier League fullback for that kind of cash. So Rangers need not to worry about what lies ahead in the early stages of the season. Beal has already got the most of his transfer work done, with seven new recruits in the door. I can spend the next few weeks making sure the players are ready to go. There is no reason to flap. Malik Tillman is absent from Bayern Munich's pre-season training camp as interest mounts over the former Rangers star. The USA international has recovered from a hamstring injury that curtailed his season-long loan at Ibrook in April. However, Tillman has yet to link up with his Munich teammates at their camp as he continues to build his fitness back up for the club's training ground. The 21-year-old is expected to join Thomas Tuchel's side over the next seven days, and according to German insider Kerry Howe, Tillman's future won't be resolved before then. The playmaker isn't short of admirers after his impressive stint in Scottish football, where he offered 17 goal contributions in 43 games, winning the PFA Young Player of the Year award. A host of Bundesliga clubs, including Eintracht Frankfurt, are keen to land the youngster and could face competition from the Premier League. Chief Sport 1 reporter tweeted, Malik is absent from training camp. After recovering from the injury, the midfielder is still doing an individual program at Stanabra Strab and will only join the team in a week's time. Departure unlikely until then. In addition to Stuttgart, two other Bundesliga clubs are interested in Tillman. There are loose requests from the Premier League, but nothing concrete yet. FC Bayern is aiming for a sale with a buyback option, not a new loan. Rangers fans, what do you make of the news that Glenn Kamara could be the next one out of the door? Do let me know a price that you would let him go for. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we have dropped our July collection, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.